Hey, what's up everyone? Almighty Josh here with another news update. So Roll20, the online D&D service, had a data breach in earlier in 2018 and everyone is barely finding out right now. Why isn't everyone talking about this? So for those of you who don't know about Roll20, it is an online D&D service that kind of lets you create your own tabletop experiences. You know, it doesn't have to be just D&D. It can basically be any sort of tabletop game. I've used it myself before, but thankfully I haven't put any of my credit card information or anything like that but still it has me a little concerned so right now I have another article here like I always do just for backup explaining the whole situation so roll 20 blog here conclusion of the 2018 data breach investigation Jeff at roll 20 post this August 12 2019 so earlier this week in February of this year we became aware of the information claiming to be from Roll20's accounts table being placed for sale on the dark web marketplace holy shit for $208 an amount less than comparable data sets we immediately announced this information to Roll20 users and the public this data represented approximately 4 million users from the end of 2018 and contained the following data okay Name, both moniker, first and last as listed. Email address, last four digits of credit card. Most recent IP address. Salted password hashes by Crip. Roll20 gaming data and, well, the time played. Holy shit. Okay, first of all, they did not tell everyone immediately. No, they did not. The reason I know that is because everyone that I know that plays D&D &D and, and, you know, most of my friends that do use the service... They would have been in an uproar, especially because they do buy like fan made created content in the marketplace that Roll20 has. Aside from that, why what why are we why are we barely finding out now? Why is everyone in the DD community barely finding out? Why is no one shouting this at the fucking top of their lungs like, hey, there was a security breach, you know, check your info, you know, this was on the dark web, whatever, but I don't know, man. Some of these companies are kind of trying to sweep things under the rug and when it comes to light they act surprised when there's a huge backlash from the fans but let's keep on reading shall we upon becoming aware of this data sale our legal team engaged kroll who proceeded to review available logs from our cloud environments email and other internal company communication methods as well as actively monitoring further access to those systems as of this time the investigation has concluded okay the investigation identified several possible vectors of attack that have since been remedied. Best practices at Roll20 for communications and credential cycling have been updated with several code library updates completed and more in development. Additionally, all sessions were logged out of Roll20 as a precautionary measure at the time we became aware of the breach. Okay, while if that is the case and people had games running and all that stuff, you think they would have noticed and wondered why. And excuse me, I'm going to drink my beer because I just got out of work. Okay. Any user that wishes to see an example of their compromised data can contact team at roll20.net and request that of myself, Jeffrey Lamb. I don't know why I want to say Jeremy. Maybe I'm missing my friend. Hi, Jeremy. Anyways, be advised that it will merely be the personalized version of the information listed above and that we will not be providing in-depth information on attack vectors so as to not advise malicious act actors as to our defenses. Okay. Roll20 would advise users at this time that various data protection companies are making alerts, meaning it is likely that bad actors have purchased the data. We would always recommend regulating, regularly rotating passwords as well as not sharing credentials between sites. Additionally, identified theft resources are also available via the Federal Trade Commission. Frankly, this sucks. No shit, Sherlock. But from the beginning of our platform, we were always aware that we were an attractive hacking target and have sought to migrate the amount of data we hold in order to lessen the adverse effects of potential breaches. We will continue to build upon these efforts and implement ongoing new security practices to protect your information on Roll20. Jeffrey Lamb, Data Protection Officer, you are a terrible officer, Jeffrey Lamb. You suck. Just like you said, frankly, this sucks. A lot of people got their information hack earlier from February and the barely finding out mid August 2019 so I'm gonna say that again February 2018 people's information was sold on the dark web they're barely finding out August 2019 what the fuck and on top of that 
And on top of that, no one's making a big fuss about it, you know, like kind of like with the Sony hack thing, you know, everyone was losing their shit, my credit card, my information, all that, you know, it's whatever, but this happens, you know, Roll20 is a pretty big site, a lot of people use it, you know, there's a big online D&D community, I mean, people use this all the time to keep that experience of D&D going whenever they can't meet IRL and play in person at, the, at a tabletop. Same thing for other tabletop games. This website is used for so many other things like that. There is a marketplace and a community where people make their own stuff and sell that to the community. And you know, that's a cool thing. But when something like this happens, you kind of lose trust in this website, especially when they wait so long to say something. It's like, oh, you know, we updated our security and it's a lot more beefier. Uh, sorry guys that that happened, it sucks. And if you want your info, you know, I'll just kind of tell you what was taken, but I won't go into detail about it. What the fuck? Well, all right, guys, I'm going to have to end the video right here. If you like what you saw, you want to see more of it, me talking games, me playing games, or just video games in general, you already know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the bell icon. That way, whenever I drop a new video, you'll be the first to know and first to watch. Also, have you used Roll20? Have any of you played D&D online using this website? And if not, let me know what you think of the whole situation as a whole in the comments down below. Other than that, this has been Almighty Josh, and I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace.